made it for a moment. I wasn't sure I would. Foolish humans. I was so frightened by my kind. I wasn't attacking them. I just wanted some cattle to eat. There was no need for them to react the way they did. No need for them to... to... <clears throat> Doesn't matter. What's done is done. But at least I'm home now. Back in my cave, surrounded by my horde, and safe. Yes, most importantly, safe. Safe from the humans and safe from. <laughs> Wait. What is. What is that I can smell? What scent wafts so fragrantly through my cave? I know for a fact it wasn't there earlier, but I recognize it. I know it well. There isn't anything else in all the realm that stinks as badly as that of a human. And I don't recall letting one inside my cave, which means I have an intruder. Damn you humans. Can't you just leave me alone? Come out now. Immediately. Or I promise I'll find you. And you'll wish you listened to what I said. Ah, there you are. Skulking out of the shadows. That was actually a good hiding spot, human. I might not have found you. <laughs> but I must say... It's a nice surprise you listened to me. I was expecting you to continue to hide, though I am pleased you listened to reason. I was not lying in what I said, little creature. If you had continued to hide, you would not be here right now. But instead you listened. You were reasonable, and because of that, I will be reasonable too. Now tell me, who are you? And what in the realm compelled you to enter a dragon's lair? If you seek death, there are far easier ways to find it. Ah, an adventurer. I should have known. Your kind is always so... stupid. Any other creature seeing a cave filled with gold would know right away to leave it be. After all, a dragon can always sense when even the smallest portion of their hoard has been stolen. But not you. Not a human. You and your kind just have to come in and be a nuisance. Was there something in particular you were looking for? Something you were planning on stealing? I happen to have very many artifacts, my little friend. Many of which are priceless. I'm sure you noticed that. Why, to your kind, I'm sure they're worth entire kingdoms. But to me... Well, I just like the way they glitter, so... Go on. Which one is it? Oh, I sincerely doubt that. I doubt that very much. There's no way a being such as yourself would enter this place just for shelter. What would you even be seeking shelter from? Nothing lives in these mountains save for myself. They fear my wrath too much. No, I've seen through your lies, little human. I know your true purpose. You're here for gold. I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, you, you were just exploring and saw me coming and hid in here? Hmm. I'm not sure I believe you. Humans are known to lie. And considering the stakes, I'd imagine your kind would say anything to weasel their way out of dying. Yes, that is a possibility. I don't much like the thought of people coming into my home uninvited, especially thieves. I worked very hard to build up my hoard over the years. The thought of one of you creatures stealing from it disturbs me greatly. It would be for the best if I were to kill you, I think. 
That way I could use you as an example. A warning to all your kind of what happens when they steal from me. Though how would I go about it? Devour you, perhaps. I am hungry, after all. Never got a chance to get those cattle, though if I were to eat you, I suppose no one would know about it, would they? But you do look tasty. Perhaps incineration would do the job. It's been an age since I've used my fire breath, and I do like using it when I'm in a fight. Something about the smell your bodies make. It's certainly an improvement over their usual stench. Or maybe I'll just eviscerate you with my claws. Yes, yes, that could be fun. Though, it would be a shame to get blood all over my glistening gold. Hmm. I am... uncertain. They all sound good in their own way. Human, of all the options I've mentioned, which would you prefer? Devouring, incineration, or claws? Take your pick. No, you can't pick none. You can't pick freedom, either. That wasn't one of the options. Though, the thought of a dragon letting a thieving human like yourself go certainly is funny, now that I think about it. I'd laugh, but this damn arrow on my side makes such a thing quite painful. Yes, this arrow here, protruding from my side. It is a dragon slaying arrow. If I hadn't seen it coming toward me and moved out of the way, it would have smashed into my chest and killed me. Instead, it's only hurting me, and the damn thing is positioned in such a way that I can't pluck it out with these foolish little arms. Yet I like the strength to rip it away with my teeth. At least for the moment. But it, it's none of your concern, all right? I am a mighty dragon, one of the most terrifying creatures in all the land. I am beyond your sympathy. Why do you care anyway? Your kind are the ones that did this. I was perfectly fine and happy, minding my own business, about to devour some delicious cattle, and then you all started shooting at me. I have half a mind to go back to that village and set it ablaze. Scorched villager certainly sounds tasty. But to tell the truth, I'm exhausted after that ordeal. So I suppose a delicious little snack like yourself would do instead. At least until I manage to get this arrow out. Hey, wait. What are you... Get away from me. I see what you're doing. Hoping to drive the arrow in further, were you? Hoping that it might hit one of my organs... Well, I'm not about to let that happen. I've fought many legendary battles on my... I've fought many legendary battles in my time, little human, and I won't be felt by a creature as insignificant as... I'm sorry. What are you saying? Well, yes, it does hurt, but that's beside the point. You're trying to help me. Unlikely. I know you're a kind human, and you know mine. Human versus dragon. That's the way it's been for hundreds of years now. Why, the very idea that one of us would help the other is... is preposterous. An absolute impossibility. It hasn't happened before, and it never will. Lies after lies after lies. That's all that comes from your mouth, human. And besides, even if you really were trying to help, do you think that a creature as prideful and mighty as myself would really let an insignificant little ant like you help me? I think not. Though, I suppose if I happened to be looking the other way when the arrow was removed, I would be fine with it. Of course, I wouldn't be able to see the creature removing the arrow, would I? So it's not like my pride would be injured in any way, would it? 
Very well, human. I'm going to turn away now. And if by chance the arrow has been removed when I turn back around, I may consider sparing your life and letting you go. Though let it be known that if I sense that arrow moving further into my body, I will do quite the opposite. Now, do what you have to do. Uh, uh, there, there, that's it. Remove it, human. I can feel it shifting. Mm. Uh, there. That feels so much better. Even with my mighty dragon blood leaking, it is a great improvement over the pain that error was causing me. Though a few puff of dragon's breath will soon put a stop to that, I think. Thank you, human. That was a noble thing you did. The noblest act I have seen from your species. I am not certain if you did it out of kindness or self-preservation, but regardless, I... I appreciate it. I suppose now, though, I should honor my word, shouldn't I? After all, I promised I would let you go. That you would be free to return to whatever it is you call a life and do whatever you humans do when you're not fleeing from the wrath of mighty dragons. Still, you have proven quite useful. And I never said I would let you go immediately, did I? And it's such a long way down from the mountains, human. I, I'd be tempted to offer you a ride, if you'd like. No, no, it's not inconvenient at all. And a quick descent down the mountain, along with your life, would be ample reward for what you did for me, human. But it's so dark now, you'll have to stay till morning. Yes, stay till morning, human. Come here and enjoy the luxuries my treasure hoard can provide. And when the dawn comes, I'll return you to your home, or your journey, whichever you prefer. Perhaps. Or perhaps, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll keep you. After all, I never claimed to be an honest dragon, did I? And a kind human, <laughs> an absolute rarity indeed, will no doubt be the most unique thing in my collection. Yes, I think I'll sleep on it. I'll leave it till the morning, and from there we can see what tomorrow brings. Good night, human. I can't wait to decide your fate.